Welcome to video 14B. Uh, this is going to be a quick video. We're going to do now armor as part of our equipment. Um, what I've done here, I'll go ahead and show you it first. I put an armor shop in here. You visit the armor shop and you notice you have your different armors with its rating and then a location and then the price. And we can actually go in and let's say we want to buy light gloves, buy armor, and they have been purchased. And the next thing we want to do is actually be able to equip them. So we go to equipment. <coughs> and now we have our armor here. If you noticed, we have our different uh, our different e equipment, and each, each you can equip each one of them. Like if I want to equip my hands or my gloves onto my hands, I can uh, do that. And let me let me show you what happens if you let's uh, visit because you don't want to be able to wear two pairs of gloves. So let me buy a second pair of gloves. Buy armor. Let's go to equipment. And if you notice, we have a light gloves equipped. Let's say we want to equip these gloves. Let's say they're different. Go back. We may want to change this link to actually go back to the equipment section instead of the index. We, we may do that later. But if you notice, it unequips the first one, equips the second one. Pretty, really easy coding. I'll go ahead and show you it. There's not a whole lot to this video. I just wanted to add armor. So on the next video, when we actually add this to battle, we've got both our armor and our weapons. If we go to our index first, the only thing I really added to the index was a link to the armor shop. And by now, you guys should have that down. If you notice here, just put a link to the armor shop. Uh, then we go to our armor shop. Let me close this out since I know this is taking up half the space. <coughs> and our armor shop is basically just like the weapon shop, except for we're pulling from two new tables. And let's go to our tables. In your MySQL, we want to add a player armor and then just armor. Armor is going to be what your shop sells. And it's just ID, name, rating, level, class, price, location. And if you notice, this is just kind of how it works. I made the ID and auto, uh, the rating, the level, and then of course it's just like the weapons. And then of course, except for it has a location here. And then under player armor is actually where the players will hold the armor. And all players' armor will go in here. It'll just be by the, the PID, which is the player ID. And it'll basically just transfer that, that information, just like weapons, except, except for you now have a location. So if we go back to our coding, and if I'm going too too fast on any of these videos because I am speeding up to get through kind of the, the same stuff we've been going through, then just let me know on the forums and I can slow it down and we can explain this more. But it, this is just, a, I'm just copying and pasting. This isn't a normal way I code. This is the easy way to kind of get through these videos and to kind of show everybody, to get everybody used to doing things differently. We will eventually do things differently, but now I'm doing a lot of copy and paste and to make it easy on everybody so the fundamentals can be understood first. And I know we're on like video, if you, if you take away the B's and the C's, but we're on like video almost... 20 now so people are we are starting to get comfortable with it but anyway <coughs> select all from armor where class equals class level um, it's basically just like the weapons we're basically selecting them where the class equals your class uh, level is less than or equal to your current level or the class just equals any so anybody can use it and the only thing I did is I added in a, an extra um, table tag for location so we can put in the location and then it linked to buy armor when you buy it and it's just like buy weapon it's just going to check to make sure you have enough gold it's the right class or the right level and then it's going to insert it and make sure that you just add the location there now because we want to add the location in there and that's really all, all it is to that on our equipment all I did was I copied the the weapon table and I pasted it below except for I changed it to armor and then I made it query from the player armor instead and I added the location in there now for our equipped <coughs> how I made that work is is it's kinda the same if equip equals one then it says equipped if it's not then you do uh, select armor let me scroll down we do uh, if not then it gives a link to equipped and then we also do our let's see then we go let's go ahead and link it to equipped when we go to equipped, once we hit equip, this is the only thing that's going to be different. I actually made a new variable that gets passed called type. If if it's a weapon, type equals W. If it's an armor, type equals A. And you'll see that at the end now I added it new 
type equals A for armor. And that way when you go to equipped, you don't need a special equipped page for armor and type, or for armor and weapons. You only need it for one, because right here it'll say if type equals W, then we want to equip the weapon. If type equals A, then we want to make it to where it equips the armor. Here's where it's a little different. Update armor set, set equip equals zero, where player ID equals ID, and equip equals one, and location equals loca locale. Locale is just the variable I passed of the armor's location of what you, so let's say you want to to add chest armor, you want to equip chest armor. It's going, it's going to send the locale, which just my variable called locale, chest. So when it updates the armor, it's going to, it's going to, if any armor is equipped where any of your armor is equipped and the location is chest, it's going to unequip it. That way you can't have two at the same time. And then it's going to do the standard if, uh, and then set that set that current one to equipped. Real simple, real easy video. All we're doing is adding armor. It's almost the same thing of weapons. I apologize for the monotony here, but it'll it this will get better when we get into to attacking and things like that and setting up auctions and stuff. But this is this is just kind of a simple thing to get at least get the weapons and armors up and going. Simple shot because this can be used in any game. You can use this for not just weapons and armor, but any kind of inventory, any kind of thing like that. And it's a simple way to hurry up and get it done, and it works well. Uh, so we will, I will have the next video out really soon, and it will be actually using this weapons and armor in battle.